Namaste. Today's video is about solar system. As we had solar eclipse on April 8th, I thought to just draw some pictures regarding the solar system. And uh, while we go through the circular regarding life, uh, yes, the circular life, that is mission, lifestyle for environment, that is a short form of life, L-I-F-E, life. We had done three videos and the third video was regarding the school activity, afforestation and uh, uh, that, that was uh, on March 21st, connected to March 21st and I, I told you uh, even though it is confined to one day, you can see that what all the activities school can do and not it is confined to that day alone. It can spread over the academic year throughout or throughout the lifetime of a person, what a person is going to do about the uh, eco-friendly matters of the economy, how to protect our nature, like that. Huh? So here the school activity connected to April 22nd, uh, this one also that is regarding celebration of Earth Day, uh, that can also you can connect to this video. Uh, uh, for the lower classes, lower grades and it can be taken as an art integrated project till 8th standard as it is a multidisciplinary project one subject can be related to another subject. So just we can see what what is uh, what are the things we can do as a school activity for small children and uh, the middle group children also. And higher class also they can do regarding physics a lot can do so let us see about the solar uh, system uh, before that uh, um, uh, what is the knowledge I know that way I have drawn a picture regarding to show you the solar eclipse in USA uh, that time was from 12 uh, 51 p.m. to 3 21 p.m. 8th April 2024 and uh, uh, let me tell you we have seen the solar eclipse with the help of that particular glass and here uh, all of you know just anyway I am telling you what is solar eclipse that is the moon moon crossing between earth and sun blocking out the sun's uh, light so sky uh, becomes darker and earth under shadow of moon so the moon comes in between sun and uh, earth sun's ray is blocked by moon when it is blocked entirely you can see that it will be about three to four minutes and it can be five minutes also some of the countries have seen like that it may be in the full shade and so it may be fail as uh, night time no sunlight and after it is moving you will see the particular ring type ring light type that so sky becomes uh, darker and uh, earth under the shadow of moon is yes. uh, that is the uh, basic thing regarding a, a, a common man can understand what about the uh, solar eclipse is concerned yes uh, this picture that you can ask them to run and draw is yes. more technically you can draw that in the higher classes then uh, we can see the Eyes. How it is? Uh, what about the next? I have done. It is according to the distance from the sun. Understand that this is not according to the color. Just from the distance from the sun, and what color we can give that also I have mentioned here. So here, as sun, uh, the nearest one is Mercury. That is gray in color. That should be in gray in color. Then second one is Venus. That is golden brown color. Then comes Earth, yes. third planet to nearest to the sun is Earth, that is bluish color, then fourth one is Mars, that is red, then Jupiter, yes, Jupiter is the largest, largest uh, planet, that is yellow, brown and red, then comes Saturn, Saturn is having a big uh, ring also. Uh, that is yellow, brown and grey. 
Then comes uh, Uranus. That color is cyan. Uh, color is cyan. And uh, cyan means it is a color uh, combination of red, green, and uh, blue like that. Like that. Uh, and uh, Neptune, blue. So, uh, blue in color. So, this is the distance. S. Yes. Nearest uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Uh, I forgot to say Uranus earlier. The cyan. That is the color of Uranus cyan. Then Neptune. So, so this is the order. Okay. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. And uh, some uh, according to the uh, uh, largest and uh, smallest also you can see some of the quiz type questions also you can ask children to write down and find out and write that also you can do and here I have done I told you it is not according to color and uh, here I have uh, um, ordered it according to the size of the planet and here just I want to convey that uh, how much uh, bigger the sun is and this uh, diagram is not showing you anyway. Just understand that the sun's size is very larger than the size of other planets. And the size of the planets are given in kilometers. There is Mercury, 4880 kilometers. Then second comes Mars, 6779 kilometers. Then third Venus, 12,104 kilometers. Earth is. What about Earth? That is 12,742 kilometers. Yes, when you write about Earth, you can write. It is uh, the diameter is 12,742. So, there you can ask what about the diameter, what about the radius. Like that also the maths, it can be connected. Then the sun, that is 1.392 million kilometers. 1.392 kilometers means uh, that is followed by six zeros. And uh, while you see the sunlight, how it reaches on earth, uh, only a very less percentage of energy or the sunlight is reaching on earth, energy is reaching on earth, that is about uh, 0 0.000, again three more zeros, then one more zero, so seven zero after five percentage of total energy emitted by the sun is reaching in on earth and so if sun is not there anyway there may not be earth also isn't it yes next comes jupiter there is a size whatever the size oh, no sorry after earth uh, we are going from isn't it smaller than larger larger like that neptune 49,244 kilometers, then Uranus 50,724 kilometers, then Saturn 11,604, uh, sorry, uh, 11,064, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, extremely sorry, 1,16,484 kilometers, 1,16,484 kilometers, then Jupiter, 1,16,484 1,39,822 kilometers. Yes, I made one spelling mistake there. Yes, like that. So 1,39,822 kilometers. So you understood a, a, a relative learning of the size of the planet. You can ask, yes, this can be taken as a school activity or this can be taken as an art integrated activity. According to art integrated activity, uh, music can be taken or uh, dance can be taken or um, this way craft and uh, uh, two dimension, three dimension. Three dimension I will also I will show you uh, how the planets can be arranged. That can be taken or skit can be made. The children can depict themselves as 
the uh, solar uh, and the planets and they can dance and they can see that I am in this type of color and uh, this color represents like that. So when you are telling about this is representing, this color is representing, suppose color of Zion is representing the, the color of energy and youth. Uh, so you can say that uh, is that you can illustrate. When you are illustrating it, it is the, um, it is a work of languages. So like that, uh, music, dance, then art and craft form and theater. This way you can do this as art form and one subject can be connected to another subject. What are the size and how, um, what about the distance from the sun? That also you will get from the distance from the sun. What about that? That also you can represent in pie diagram or through multiple bar diagrams like that the maths can be connected to this and especially science can be connected a lot of things the science can be connected how the uh, the uh, energy of the sun sun rays are reaching on earth what about the radiation a lot you can do and I have uh, I told you just up to the 8th standard uh, it can be done as a multidisciplinary project even the uh, subject basis you are learning more about science this can be taken as an enrichment project also and uh, yes so the three dimensional also have done an attempt here yes so uh, here you can see a smallest one uh, what about the smallest one is uh, from this you can see that the smallest one is mercury then this one is mars Sorry, not uh, not sorry. Ah, and, and, and uh, smallest one is Mercury. Then comes the Mars. Second one, and third one is Venus, and the fourth one is Earth. Then fourth one is Earth. Then comes Neptune. Then comes Uranus. Then Saturn. Then Jupiter. Is yes, this uh, somehow I have done that only, and uh, yes, I have I, I worked a lot to get to the solar eclipse picture. That is a thing, yes. So, this way, as a three dimensional, also you can ask the children to do as a vacation project, also they can be given this, yes. Then, which are the other things you can ask? Which is the smallest planet you can ask? Smallest planet is Mercury, then, nearest planet to Sun is Mercury. Yes, nearest planet to sun is Mercury. Then farthest planet to sun is Neptune. Minus 214 degree Celsius. Yes. Then the coldest planet, even though Neptune is the farthest from sun, the Uranus is the coldest. But minus 224 degree Celsius. Then brightest planet is Venus. That is golden brown color. The largest planet is Jupiter. Yes, largest planet is Jupiter. And the smallest planet is Mercury, I told you. This way, you can ask questions. And uh, colors can be integrated. What different colors represent? That also you can ask them, uh, children, to do. So this way, you can see that uh, uh, this uh, 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 topic can be given to children. Interestingly, they will do, especially the smaller classes, the primary classes, they can do the activity. And on ground, you can draw the orbit and ask the children to round, rotate and revolve like that. So they, thereby they can study about the, um, the revolution and the rotation. So how the, and uh, instead of sun, they, uh, in place of sun, you can have a lamp and from the lamp, how the light can be. Is that way most often people, children used to do as an, uh, uh, how the light rays at the noon, how the sun rays, uh, fall on earth as vertically the mornings and evenings slanting position you can explain what about the slanting what about the uh, vertical position how why the sunlight uh, or at noon why it is more hotter like that you can connect one subject to another subject and that way children are learning the real life experience and here also uh, while you are connecting the sun rays you can ask the children to come and uh, stand on the ground on a sunny day and uh, to take the 
measurement morning what about the shadow and at noon what about the shadow and and in the evening what about the shadow and uh, at noon the shadow may be shorter and the mornings and evenings the shadow may be longer so this way you can make an experiential learning also so uh, this is all regarding today's video so anyway just uh, Yes, this way you, you are understanding what about you know that I know but anyway for my uh, as intention I am showing you this way yes this way yes thank you all